Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back again. Um, this is uh, from Plain Journal to Christmas Journal Part 6. And today I thought we would focus on making um, a ephemera to go in the uh, envelopes, the little CD envelopes that we have. So let's grab this tiny attacher to use as my bit there. Now I have this kit that I bought a long time ago from Ephemera's, Ephemera's Vintage Garden uh, and this is the address here. I think she has her own website now too. Uh, and so I thought I would make these into journal cards and show you how I do that. So this may be a very quick video. I don't know. So I cut it in half because I'm going to use art glitter glue and it dries so quickly that gives me more time to actually get the glue. Um, it, gives, it, it provides better timing so that my piece, my glue doesn't dry before I get to put it on the cardstock. So I'll make sure I get to the edges because I'm not going to sew these. You could do. You could just sew them onto cardstock. And I'm using. Um, the cardstock I purchase is uh, from um, Michaels and it's Recollections and it's just their craft paper cardstock. So there's that one down and then we'll go ahead and do this one like so. Get the glue on. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Another beautiful day here, which is lovely. Nice to see the sun shining, even though it's getting pretty darn cold out there, I have to say. And then I'm just going to stick that so that I know that it's let's move this out of the way. Just so that I know that it's all stuck down. Okay. So the other thing I have to think about is that some of these, um, two of these images are horizontally oriented and two of them are vertically oriented. So I want the two that are horizontally oriented for the envelopes. So I had already kind of have a sense that they're uh, going to fit that window. I don't worry too much if it's going to be a little too big or a little too small for the window. Well, a little too big for the envelope is a problem, but too big uh, for the window is not a problem as long as it can fit in the envelope. So, and then I'll continue to cut these two as well. Because we can do something with the other two images. These are some of my favorite Christmas images, and I'll put a link. Um, gosh, I hope. I'll try. I'll put a link to her shop, and like I said, it may be a website now, but. I'll figure that out, or attempt to anyway. If you don't see a link, it's because I haven't figured it out. <laughs> Which is not a shocker, really. Um, so. There. So we get this messy paper out of the way. And. Let's have a look. So you can see that one is, is a vertical orientation, so that's not going to do for the envelope. But this one is a, a nice orientation, and you can see how it's it's just nice and nice and firm now. And I like I can print on cardstock. Um, I just find that if I print on white paper, I get a just a better image, a better, I don't know, it's just for me it looks a little bit nicer. So you can see that it's, there's a little bit there and a little bit there on the bottom. I don't mind that. I'm just happy to have something that fits in and I don't mind that it's sticking out at the end either. I think what I'll do, bring, bring out our cute little fabrics again. So we'll pull one of these out and maybe one of the green color ones 
and I'm going to attach that. I do the old, oh, I've got two there. I do the old finger press um, routine like this. And maybe this time we'll glue it rather than staple it. So I can see this being something that gets comes in and out a fair amount. So just glue like that and then on the back as well. And if you want it, you could put a staple on that as well. Or you could sew around it, but that's not going to go anywhere. Super cute. And all these reds are going to look really pretty together with that red uh, Florentine paper behind. And that just has it sticking out a little bit like that, like a tab. Isn't that cute? So I'm very happy with that. And then we'll go, I know I only have one other in here and it's in the last signature right there. And one more. Isn't that adorable? Oh, so cute. Okay, so we'll finger press this one as well. <clears throat> Got my rug hooking out again. It just seems to be a seasonal thing for me. I started last year. I hadn't rug hooked before, and boy, I tell you, it is really um, addicting. Once you get once you get it in your system, you want to do it all the time. My problem, well, it's not a problem, but my challenge is that I have arthritis in my hands and my knuckles. And so it can, um, I have to be, uh, I have to pace myself, which is not something I'm very good at, as my husband would say to me. I'll often say to him, oh, it's a quiet day today. I'm just going to, you know, got nothing planned, just going to hang, you know. And then he, he always says, yeah, um, right. We'll see how that works out. So I've already got two tabs by doing that. And I did notice with this one that I don't have anything on the back. Last time I had the last one, I put a little image and then a little washi. So maybe we'll stick a little something here while we're at it. Let me see. Um, I think I would like to use this Mrs. Cog image of snowflakes. And... that on there. It's hard to see the edges in this light, but I think I got it. I think I got it. So if I attach that so that it's just like so, then and then glue it here, that's going to seal that closed. I think maybe I will. There's my Here's my ink. I'm going to ink around this. As well. Like so. And then I'm just going to glue it there towards the middle. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to just put glue on three sides and I'm going to go like that down the middle so I could put like maybe short tags or something in, like along the side okay. so that is there and I saw a tag earlier like the ones we did um, a while back, or the ones I showed you a while back for the front signature. So I'm just gonna, I tie it down there and then I do another tie. 
um, and I show this in an earlier um, video in this series, but you could just set something like that in there as well if you wanted. Creates dual purpose. So yeah, I don't I feel like that's not gluing down. So I'm going to just put some more glue in there. And I'm sorry, I know my voice kind of goes up and down, modulates um, <clears throat> when I'm busy doing something. When I'm thinking, I'm less likely to um, I'm less likely to actually I'm doing it now. When I'm thinking, I may not <laughs> be speaking as loud or speaking at all. So I'm gonna try and see if this will fit on my uh, on that little tag. Just curious. And these are Mrs. Cogs for minis. Well, Merry Christmas. I think it'll get cut off, so I don't think... Unless, yeah, unless I cut that down a little bit smaller. Um, I might tear around that and put that on there, though. So, yeah. So, there are those two tags. And I did notice as well, with this one, um, we did the decorate on here, but I don't think I have anything attached to the back. So, I wondered about, I don't want to put two of the same, the bird in the same, um, sig within the same signature, like two different birds, but um, I thought maybe I could attach this authentic Christmas um, <clears throat> postcard without covering the writing and then that would be kind of cool. So maybe we'll do that. So where it goes to just under this side. So let's just go. Like that. And. There. And that will stay there. Um, we could take a piece of washi. And I'm going to put my glue up here. Nice. So I'll set my glue, glue on there. Like so. And I thought maybe we'll just cover up that a little bit. There. That was just instructions about the um, postcard. And then this is really interesting as well. Julia Grace. Really cute. Okay. So, I like that. Now, I wondered about creating do we need another tuck spot in these? I feel like we've got a fair amount going on. I often like to put a tuck spot in the center. Um, maybe I will, maybe I could use the birds for that as a tuck spot. Since the other bird is not attached but inside the um, the CD case envelope. I think that that would work out okay. So this would be one. And I'll put one in the front signature, one in the back signature. Just to space those out. And then let's see. I need to change my... Um, so cute. I need to change my... Um, um, little pad on my uh, my little tool, my inking tool.
Okay, so we've got that as a tuck spot. That's one. I'm going to put one in the front as well, in the center, I think. I'm not going to fill all the tucks because that's the sort of thing that you might want to put a Christmas card in, you know, that you get this year. Uh, you might want to tuck a photo in there, you know, whichever works. And then this one, I do have one more tag here. And I think it might be nice to put that tag in the center of the center one. I don't have any ink on that one, so let's do that as well. Love the lace on this. So I'm just going to Another tuck spot for cards or whatever. Nice. Okay. So she's getting nice and thick. Um, I think I'd like to see how I've got two tabs there, but the center signature doesn't have a tab, so why don't we make put a tab on and I think I'll put it in the center. Now this tab's at the bottom, this tab's at the top, so I'll put this one towards the center. We've got a, a creamy color tab, we've got a um, reddish tab, and I think maybe we'll go towards the green side with this one. But oh, That's fun. A little green plaid. That's nice. So I'm just going to finger press it again like that and then I'm going to put some glue down kind of approximating the size of the fabric the length and when I turn it over I'm just going to get glue all the way to the length and then fold it like that. And you could staple that if you'd prefer. You could sew it. I mean, there's still an opportunity for me to sew those, and I might, I might do that. But that just gives me a nice, you know, three different items there. Um, I think I'd like to put a tab here on the front. So why don't we use, oh, we've got the red really close in. So let's use a different, oh, we'll use this pretty plaid. And I said this is Moda Winter Manor. These are just little bits that I bought. Gosh, I've had them for a couple years now. So this is my finger pressing, like so. And so I want to put it so that I like it right about there. Okay, that'll work. So I'm going to do it on this side first because I just want it to go to the top of that bit there. That's technical language, that bit there. And then over here. We can just go like so and attach it like that. And then if you want, you can put some more glue just where the edge of the fabric is. So I just run my glue down like that. So that looks really cute as well. And you could put a little bit of lace there. You can then there because this is soft cover, you can put it then under the machine as well. So I think that's really cute. 
there. I think we might need something on this adorable card. What about what about the cute Santa that we we took off a few minutes ago? Nothing is wasted. Not a thing. So I'm just gonna put a little ink around that and we'll put that towards the top because we know this is going to be seen in that pocket. And I'm just going to set it towards the top. Let's see. So you can see the Santa there and then we can journal at the bottom. Um, I think I'll put a little bit of washi on there as well. This time maybe we'll use this one. I'm going to use my she likes so. I feel like we're just about done, you guys. What do you think? Just about done? Yeah, I would say. Uh, and then, you know, you could put um, little, um, actually, you could put, oops. I'm thinking as I'm going here, I could put some um, labels on. So that would be cute there. Still a bit of ink on this, so I'm just going to go around the outside. We'll just do a quick look through and see where, where we need labels. And like I said, I'm not putting a tuck spot everywhere are things in all my tuck spots because we have, um, you know, you're going to want to put Christmassy stuff in there. I like that play with that black oval label. That's a Tracy label. Um, I think I might like to put one of these labels over here. That's a um, graphics fairy label. I'm just going to get some ink for that. So we're just going to do some labels around and I think we're going to be done for now. And then it may turn into a December daily. I don't know, but at least the the base is done and it gives you some idea of how you can uh, pull together your own uh, Christmas journal just using just using um, a plain journal that you might have that wasn't specifically for Christmas or you could make one. Whichever works. And see, just doing that little bit of zhuzhing really brings that together. Don't need anything there or there, I don't think. Um, maybe it would be fun to have yeah, to have a uh, just a nice red label uh, over here. So that's what I'm going to do. Get that one on. Because it's quite a um, quite an empty space there. And it just looks really nice next to each other. Didn't get any glue on that corner, so, so there's that. Um, something for there. This is the green label. This is a um, hmm. I think I want something a little brighter. There, that's a Tracy label. That would look nice there. So we'll set that up there. As well. And let's see on the back. I'm not going to put anything on there because we didn't want to mess up that beautiful, beautiful postcard. But we'll put our label back here. And I don't think I've used this one yet. And I love this. This is like my favorite label of all time, this Tracy label. Put a little ink on it. A little bit of glue. Let's 
set it up here. Okay, let's do a quick flip through and see if we need anything else anywhere. I think that is good. Love those. Love the floral paper as well. And if you need this little tuck spot, which I think is super cute. I'm putting my sweater in ink. Let's see. No, I'm okay, I think. Tuck spot there. And there's still lots of places to do some Christmas-ifying. New word. There's the one we did today. There, and then here. You could put a little label on that, but I like seeing the whole image, so I won't do it. Little tuck spot, a couple little Christmas pieces. It's definitely a Christmas journal now, guys. And there's a tuck spot there. The Christmas imagery and lots and lots of space for Christmas journaling and photographs or oops, whatever, I love that one. There's the bag we did in the last video with some paper for decorating. And here's one as well, a little um, pocket, a little wreath, and then we did this. We actually got a lot done today. Oh, you know what? I think I glued that to the card. There we go. There we go. No worries. We're good now over here. We're still glued down. I'll go back and check just to be sure. Another tuck spot. And there's the bag we did in the last video. And then there's a little flip with the beautiful card. And then there's a couple of tags in there. And we could put a little Christmas image on those if you want it. And there's that. So I think that's it, guys. I think six is enough uh, videos to get you to where you need to be. And yes, I did sew through. I sewed these down with four. Uh, four holes, four hole pamphlet stitch uh, to stitch the signatures right in. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this series, and we'll see you next time for something completely different, I think. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.